In today's video, I share the absolute bucket list of items that you have to do if you go to Cape Town, South Africa. These are family friendly outings that both you and your children will love and remember forever. We used to live in Cape Town for 10 years and absolutely loved living there. Our older children were born there, but we moved away when they were small. We have taken them back on holiday about five years ago. Our two younger children have never been to Cape Town, so we were so excited to show them all the wonderful places that they have never seen, and to let our older children experience them in a totally different way now that they are older. We had a great time and made unforgettable memories. Before we went on our holiday, I made a list of all the places that we absolutely had to take our kids to. But it just became longer and longer and I realized that I had to stop because it was becoming impossibly long. And even so, we only managed to go to a fraction of the places that I had on my list. So the only solution is, we'll have to go on holiday again soon. As a result, we had to prioritize and the places that I'm showing you today are great family fun places that you absolutely have to go to when you visit Cape Town. Table Mountain is an iconic feature in Cape Town. It is very possible to hike up Table Mountain if you are reasonably fit, but we decided to experience the cable car this time. The Table Mountain Aerial Cableway has been operating since 1929. The company operates in a national park and the World Heritage Site. There are two cable cars and they can each carry 65 people. The cable cars take 45 minutes to reach the top of the mountain and each of the cableways cables are 1,200 meters in length. Once at the top, you can get a 360 degree view of Cape Town, Table Bay and the nearby peaks of the surrounding mountains. There are three short hikes at the top of the mountain and we did all three. Table Mountain is part of a World Heritage Site and an important part of the Cape Floristic region. There is a lot of Feinbos vegetation on the mountain with over 1,460 different species of plants. There are also dassies, lizards and insects and bird life to be seen. The weather in Cape Town changes rapidly and the condition between the lower and upper cable stations can vary considerably. Although it was a lovely warm day down in Cape Town, we were freezing at the top of the mountain and were glad that we had brought our jackets with. When we first arrived, it was a lovely clear day and the visibility at the top of the mountain was fantastic. But as the day progressed, a cloud came over the mountain and we couldn't see more than a few meters ahead of us. My kids were really excited to say that they had been walking inside a cloud. You can take snacks along with you to eat at the top. The Two Oceans Aquarium is a fantastic way to learn more about the ocean. One of the first things you see when you walk in is a magnificent tank with an array of colourful fish, anemones and urchins. And there's also a Nemo exhibit right by its side which excites my children immediately. The exhibit of the jellies is filled with a luminous light 
to make these beautiful creatures even more wondrous. Even the small sea creatures attract my children's attention because the exhibits are so cleverly designed. Just look at these beautiful seahorses. They are so tiny, yet so majestic. There is a fantastic predator exhibit with several huge ragged tooth sharks. And in the tunnel, you can experience them swimming right over you. We do live at the seaside and my kids often play in the rock pools and experience all sorts of shore sea life. So it is really exciting for them to see what it looks like under the water. And also to see how sea creatures that we might find dead on the beach look when they are alive. The INJ Ocean Exhibit provides a massive home to rays, mussel crackers, green sea turtles and much more. It has a 10 meter long tunnel and the main viewing window is also huge. I just love the penguins. They are so cute the way they walk and I would highly recommend trying to attend a penguin feeding. The Kelp Forest Exhibit is an underwater forest where huge fish swim through the giant sea bamboo. We were really lucky to arrive just in time to see a really cute puppet show that my kids loved. Although many of the kids' activities were temporarily closed due to COVID-19, the aquarium still made a lot of effort to ensure the exhibits remained kid-friendly. And the final place that I would absolutely recommend that you go to is the Ezekiel South African Museum and the Planetarium. The South African Museum was founded in 1825 and has a vast historical collection of fossils and historical tools. My children were intrigued by all the skeletons of the various animals and enjoyed trying to guess what each one was before checking if they were right. There is a huge array of models of mammals and birds that are currently found in South Africa, as well as those that are now extinct. In one of the main exhibit halls, there is a whole whale skeleton that hangs from the ceiling. And there is a booth where you can listen to whales singing. There is a fabulous marine exhibit with exquisite models of interesting animals found in our oceans, including giant squids, sharks, dolphins, and a coelacanth. The Ezeko Planetarium and Digital Dome is the most advanced digital planetarium in Africa. My son was really hoping to have a VR gaming experience in Cape Town, but they were all closed due to COVID-19. But when he walked out of the planetarium, he said that this show was better than any VR game could have been. We watch a show called Out There, The Quest for Extra Solar Worlds. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. So now for the real deal. The absolute best buy of the whole holiday was this small dog leash. Now it's not because we took a small dog along with us on holiday, but because we used it for my four-year-old daughter. Did you know that you can get leashes or braces specially made for children? But I haven't needed one for my three older children. And this was the first holiday I thought maybe I would need something like this. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I'm sure she won't need one the next time we go away. So I decided let's try a small dog leash. And it worked perfectly. It fitted her like a dream. 
She loved wearing it because she liked pretending to be a dog. And it just gave us so much peace of mind. So, whenever we went out, we would put this on her, and she could get about two meters away from us, and then she would have to come back again. We would still hold her hand like we would have done if she wasn't wearing this dog leash. It just meant that we could go to places that were really busy and not have to worry that she would run away or get lost, that someone would take her. And it meant that she can go and look at the things she wanted to and I could look at the things that I wanted to without her getting far away from me. It also meant I didn't have to be screaming like a fishwife the entire holiday long, saying, come closer, don't go away, hold my hand, the entire time. It just meant that everything became so much more pleasant. You know how many moms stop me to ask me where I've got this brace for children, especially moms with small children that were around about the same size. <laughs> Whenever I told them that it was actually a dog leash, they would first laugh a little bit, and then they would think about it and say, I think I'm going to get one for me myself too, because they could see it really worked. It just made everything so much better. You don't have to carry your child on you the whole time. My five-year-old was a little bit jealous that the four-year-old had a dog leash. So we got her one too on the second day, and the two of them walked around pretending to be dogs. We did have to put some rules in place. No barking at people and no crawling around on the floor. So apart from that, this dog leash was the best buy of the whole holiday. Bye! I hope to see you again next week.